Hi guys. Uh, I noticed many of you also using a Chromebook to run the Arduino IDE uh, for the Idron uh, camp coding sessions. To run Arduino IDE on your Chromebook, uh, you have to check the, your system first. Uh, let's go to the why don't you click this uh, Wi-Fi icon and you can find the setting, go to the setting and then click about the Chrome OS. If you click this one, your Chromebook information is uh, available here. So my Chromebook running 64-bit version and this is the uh, latest version uh version 89 so of course you can check for update in here so uh, my chromebook is up to date so remember what uh, os chromebook os uh, you're using again mine is 64 bit okay once you figure it out uh, you can go to the uh, developers menu here click hit this one so you should be able to see linux development environment to download and install arduino ide from website right and once you see this uh, linux environment better installed you can go to the search button here and type terminal t-e-r-m-i-n-a-l and you can see this icon right terminal right why don't you double click in this one and or click let me close this one and you should see this kind of uh, uh, terminal session and you can test out this terminal session is works for example ls if you type ls so your file is listed listed on terminal environment right this is good and next uh just to go to the arduino website uh typing in the search box here uh arduino arduino ide download <clears throat> just click the first one and you can see uh, there are several different uh, download options available so since uh, we needed to learn Arduino IDE on Chromebook basically you have to download Linux version okay so we just uh, notice my machine is running 64 bit right i'm gonna download this one but uh, perhaps yours is 32 bit and you have to click this one but uh, before you download why don't you click uh, right mouse and uh, select the copy link address okay and then go back to terminal and this is a little bit tricky because uh, we're gonna uh, uh, type the linux command on terminal environment so first you have to type like this uh, now you're gonna download uh, arduino ide from the website on the linux environment wget wget and right click and automatically your linux version link is pasted right next to the wget command right and then enter and the, your linux basically downloading arduino ide uh, software so you won't take so long uh, you take a, a few seconds once you've done that you have to unzip the file you just download right for example i just downloaded this version uh, arduino uh, 1.8.13 linux 64 version right if you look at the file extension 
extension look a little bit different from the Windows, right? Like Windows G file. But the, this uh, uh, case, file extension is tar, T A R dot X G to uh, unzip this file. You need, a, you need a, to install the special uh, command called, you know, xgutil. So to install that uh, command, you have to type sudo. Sudo mean uh, basically your privilege is going to be uh, root privilege, system administrator privilege, so that you can install this uh, uh, software for all users across platform, okay? So sudo apt get install xg utils and enter. And this uh, xg utils command, command actually installed in your Linux machine. And then now we want to unzip the Arduino IDE Linux version on your system. To unzip uh, your file, type again sudo tar flag option like this 1.8.13. Linux 64 tar xg. Okay, cannot all uh, cannot open no such file. Uh, maybe I typed wrong. Um, let's see. Arduino. Uh, you know, you know, one point. Um, uh, let me uh, try again. Tar. C X F A R D U I N O point eight point thirteen. Uh, sorry, this is not that. This uh, uh, space like this. Okay, here we go. So it should work. Uh, it won't take so long. Maybe it take a couple of minutes. So we'll see. Here you go. <clears throat> Once it is done, uh, you can move to the, uh, uh, you can move to the uh, folder. So like this CD uh, or PT folder because we unzipped this file on the OPT folder, right? And then Arduino, Duino, one point. 8.13 and so we are in this folder and then uh, we can install uh, this Arduino IDE software to your Chromebook using the script like this store install us and then uh, this uh, script uh, install uh, your IDE IDE, Arduino IDE software on your Chromebook. So it won't take so long. Uh, maybe uh, took uh, five, 10 seconds. So we'll see. So here you go, it's done. So now your Arduino is uh, installed on your Chromebook. To see, uh, to make sure if your Arduino IDE installed in, on your Chromebook, just click search and type Arduino, do, do, uh, do you know, you can see the Arduino IDE, right? Just double click this one. So that mean your Arduino uh, IDE uh, was, on, uh, was installed on your uh, Chromebook. So if you see this uh, Arduino IDE graphical user interface, uh, basically, your Arduino IDE is successfully installed on your Chromebook. So now, uh, let's test out uh, your code example. Uh, you have a USB thumb drive, right? I drone a USB thumb drive. Just plug in the USB uh, thumb drive in 
uh, your Chromebook. And then your Chromebook automatically recognize uh, uh, your thumb drive and just open uh, the folder and uh, go to the motor test one one dash one motor test and double click this uh, IDE sorry uh, just uh, go back to the Arduino IDE uh, menu and open and find your motor test dot Arduino file and open it once you open it <clears throat> You have to uh, select right board, go to the toolbox, uh, tool menu, and board. You have to select right board, right? So your uh, iDrone, uh, just uh, uh, plug in the, your iDrone to the, your uh, Chromebook. And then you can see this menu, right? Just to click the connect to the Linux so that your iDrone. Uh, can be connected to your uh, Chromebook. Once uh, your iDrone is connected to your Chromebook, you can click Tool again <clears throat> and select Arduino Leonardo and also select right port in here, right? Your port is automatically detected, your USB um, port in here, automatically detected. And then click the Upload like this and you see the another message click connect to the linux and wait and see so uh, connect again and you see that this message right done unloading so now you can test out your idron just to power on the, your idron switch so now here's your working right so uh, now your code is uh, uploaded onto the iDrone so that you hear uh, this sound mean that your iDrone is uh, programmed well and working fine. Okay? Thank you. Now it's your turn.